highly, highly recommend it. Hi guys, welcome back to my bedroom where I'm filming this May favorites video for you. If you like favorites videos, please give this a thumbs up and I'd be happy to make more, maybe monthly or whatever. Also guys, please subscribe below if you're not subscribed already. I would love to see your face back here. This has been an awesome week for me. I actually, if you follow me on Instagram or Snapchat, you may have already seen that I was asked to write an article on my weight loss journey and losing weight and then also losing weight from a regain from weight loss surgery. So check that out if you'd like, uh, www.obesityhelp.com. It's in the before and after articles section. I'm not exactly sure how, how they have that set up. I may still be on the um, homepage. I'm not sure though because it has been a few days since they posted it, but I was really honored to be asked to do that. Very exciting thing for me to put together and it was pretty emotional actually to sit down and write that article, but I'm very glad that I did and I'm just thankful for the opportunity and to even have been considered for such an honor. That has been a really cool thing in my life this week. So the first thing actually um, that I want to talk about for my favorites is this cute blazer that I picked up at Target last month and I got this because I just needed like some kind of a jacket type thing for outfits and so this is a Marona brand um, and uh, it's really like a sturdy quality piece of uh, clothing I feel like and I, it has this, these cute pinstripes when you roll up the sleeves which I love to roll up the sleeves on my blazer and then the other thing that I'm wearing that's my favorite is this cough that I picked up at Charlotte Russe and I got there they I guess they do these maybe you guys know about this they do these happy hours like they said almost every Saturday so it's like buy one get one half off and even if the thing that you're buying is on sale so like they had sandals like buy one get one for five dollars typically then during happy hour it was buy one get one for two dollars and fifty cents so I was like going crazy in there I try not to go too crazy but I did need clothes and this is the only jewelry thing that I got and I just think it's super cute it just slides on and off and I just love jewelry like this so has like a boho feel to it and then just to get into my other items, I have got some beauty and some hair. This is something that I got last month along with, I ordered the Loving Tan Sunless Tanner off of the Loving Tan website and I got a discount code from someone on YouTube. I will link that below if you guys are interested. It was a discount code that offered, I think there might have been a discount on the tanner and then also you get this free um, scrub mitt so this is like for the end of your tan when you want to take it off this side is like more rough and then I guess this is like the skin polishing side and this is like the tan removal side and it works awesome I was using brown sugar and olive oil which also works really well but it's kind of a hassle to like mix that up before you get in the shower and this just works really good it's almost it almost was like erasing the tan off of me so I just felt like this does the job really well and it's hard to get off tan from especially I think with having fair skin it can be tricky to get all of the tanner off especially on your feet and your hands and those dry places so this has been really handy this month um I will try to link that code below so if you wanted to order sunless tanner you can get this included it's like I think it was like twenty dollars without the code I don't know that I would ever pay that much for this because I mean it's it's a, it's a cool, but it does have this little hook I just noticed that you can hang it in the shower. Um, I just don't know if it's a $20 item, but getting it free definitely is a perk. Sticking with the whole shower theme, I did pick up the Jurgens Wet Skin Moisturizer that everybody's talking about. I'm probably a little bit late to the game, but you guys, it works. It works awesome. I'm like, actually, I was very skeptical because I was seeing things online that said people were like, like raving about this and it's got the sticker on the front that it was a breakthrough award through through Allure magazine and that was kind of enticing. They had a coconut scent and I think a green tea scent as well. I got the Nourishing Minoy Oil. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but it works awesome. You put it on, after, you turn the shower off when you're done with your shower and then you just put it on as you're still in the shower and then you pat dry and my skin feels moisturized all day long with this. I didn't feel like the next day it still felt moisturized so good purchase, worth the money I would say. And then I also picked up, I 
this L'Oreal Ever Pure shampoo. I do sulfate free shampoos and conditioners because I do wear extensions and they tend to break down the tape on the extensions. So I use this because it's more gentle. L'Oreal Ever Pure sulfate free color care system. So it really smells awesome. It's uh, rosemary or goji acai. It says deeply strengthens, protects from color aggressors, and it has natural botanicals. It smells really good. I swear it said it had rosemary, but that might have been another one. But this is, it has a great smell, and uh, it's it's been working really well for me. Okay, then on to beauty. This little bugger is new to my collection. My girlfriend gave me this, and it's the Real Techniques sponge. So it's like a one of the blending sponge, beauty blending sponges, and it has a flat side. Sorry, it's dirty, but it has a flat side and then it has the, you know, same pointed side as always with a, like a beauty blender has. You just uh, blend out your foundation or your concealer. I use this pretty much just for con concealer. I do use a foundation brush for my foundation, but I have been loving this. It works very well. I cannot remember if I talked about this in my last video. It's the Carly Bible palette. I feel like I did or I can't remember, but it is on BH Cosmetics website and it was like $13. I've had this actually for a while, but I've been using this most recently, um, just started using these two highlighters in the center right here. I I have the Becca Pearl highlight, which is gorgeous because I have fair skin, but right now I've been rocking the Sunless Tan and so I have to have something a little bit darker, otherwise that uh, pearl is so light, it just kind of washes me out a little bit. So these two colors I've been mixing, sometimes I'll do the lighter color or sometimes I'll do the darker color by itself or mix them together. I use a fan brush and apply it to the cheekbones right here. And it's just been a gorgeous color um, to use and then just a little bit here. I just highly recommend this palette. The colors of the eyeshadows are great. They do not blend super, super well like a high-end um, eyeshadow palette would, but for the money and the pigmentation on them is great. So I would give this a try if you are looking for an inexpensive, decent eyeshadow palette. Really good one right here. I also ordered on the Beautylish website this RCMA No Color Powder. And so this is actually like a makeup artist type powder. It doesn't cost that much. I cannot remember you guys how much. I want to say I got two of them for under $10. Don't quote me on that, but so Beautylish is the website that I use and then it's the three ounces. I use this to bake. So lately I've been, if you've, if you've heard of baking, I think I've talked about this in other videos possibly, but I just bake under my eyes. So that means I add like an excess amount of this powder or I was using the Cody Airspun powder that you just get at Walgreens. You just add a, a generous amount, like you can see it, like very thick amount of powder just under my eyes after I apply my concealer. And then I leave that on for like 10 minutes while I'm doing other things on my face and then I'll dust it off. And it just leaves me with uh, out the under eye creasing that I get if I just do concealer and then set it with powder, I get creasing quite a bit and with the baking technique I don't get that and this powder has been really awesome for that it keeps the under eyes bright but if you're if you're darker skin it's no color so you won't get that you know ashiness from it if you do see a little bit of ashiness from the powder you can actually just use your setting spray if you have Mac fix plus or I have a L'Oreal setting spray right now and I also make my own setting spray a lot of times you can just set your face with that and it melds that powder in with your foundation and your concealer so you won't have that ashy tone to it uh, with the powder but this is really good stuff and like I said not expensive at all I've barely used any and I use a ton to go underneath my eyes so I would think there'd be more gone and it's just lasting me quite a while and I just love this product and I uh, highly highly recommend it and then my last two favorites for the month are these NYX matte lip creams okay so for some reason I've had these a while but I just discovered this combination so it's London and then I mix, while this is still wet, I put Cairo on top and I mix them together. I have it on right now. If you can see the gorgeous, like I just have been looking for a like more orangey peachy nude lip. And I just haven't been happy with anything that I have in my collection already. And I haven't really seen anything that st stuck out to me. And then I just, just discovered this combo and just tried it out one day and I'm in love with the color. And then I just put a little bit of the NYX Sugar Pie Lip Gloss on top just to kind of give it a little glossiness and a little plumpness in the center right there. 
good to go if you're looking for a peachy nude lip this is a good combo that's all i have for favorites today guys hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions on any of this stuff please feel free to ask below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, of course. Please come follow me on Instagram. It's emily42897. I'm also on Snapchat at red42897. And uh, those are the places that I frequent the most. So also, if you want to follow me on FitnessPal, myfitnesspal.com, I'm also emily42897 uh, there. And so I would love to see you in any of those formats. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. As always, have a wonderful day.